friends are truly the definition of ride or die because they all have told me about their concerns and they all are here because they know that my mind is made up. And so they're going to go on this journey. You know the thing that I don't like about Ashley? She expects people to always be there for her regardless of all of her mistakes. Like she expects people to basically fall with her. If she does wrong, she expects them to, 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 to always be there to catch her. And for me personally, that's not a good thing because you will purposely always abuse your friend's, your friend's kindness to always wanting to be there for you. That even if, even if they warn you and even if you know that what you're about to do may be a big mistake, you do it because you know they're still going to be there to pick you up. I feel like that's like an abuse of power, if you ask me personally. But also at the same time, for her to even sit there and talk about being in a, in a, in a situation where the friends don't agree, and then expecting to be there tells me that she actually feels deep down or maybe even consciously that this marriage may not actually work. Because why else would you say these things if you were certain that your marriage was going to work? She knows that this is a gamble. And for me personally, should marriage be a gamble? <laughs> you let me know. And if it all goes to they'll be here too. It's not the end. Okay. It's not the end. It's not the end. Okay. a family man through and through. It pains me to see him sad and frustrated at his wedding. And you know what, though? The thing is, though, like, it's, a bit of a, it's a bit of a weird one for me. Because, you know, at the very beginning of the season, this man didn't even tell his family that he was coming to the States on a permanent basis, from what I remember. He wasn't absolutely clear with all his information because he's always been vague. But now, all of a sudden, he's getting married, and now, all of a sudden, he's getting sad by the fact that his family isn't going to be there, that his kids are not going to be there. Why didn't he think about these things before he made this choice? I mean, what I'm trying to say is like, maybe if it had been transparent with his family and everyone around him that, hey, he's moving to America to marry Ashley and to be with her and to live in America, well, maybe he wouldn't feel as bad. Probably still, still, still feel sad, but I don't know, man. It's just like, I just find it very interesting when people make sudden life choices. And then when... She's hit the fan of something or something happens. All of a sudden, they want to now feel sad. I don't know. It's just a weird one. It's like, mm, mm. And the people that he loves the most can't be here. I think been well thought about some of the things that Sally said, because after that conversation, he has been way more like, I talked to Charlie today, his son, and bringing me in. I put order to talk to his boys, and he passes me the phone for the very first time. It's incredibly vindicating because I want those boys to know that I'm not here to take their dad away. Let's talk about that statement, though. The fact is, right, Ashley chose to still want to marry this man, knowing that he had not introduced her to her kids, knowing that the kids didn't even know about her necessarily. But at the same time, he still expected her to give him money to send home, so therefore he could still pay for his kids, but also pay for the baby mom at the same time. Which, listen, I guess, I guess that bit isn't, isn't like a big, big deal because... It's not like he's been using it this whole time to pay for his family. He's been doing it himself. It's just that he can't work in America. So you know what? I'm going to retract that. But either way, though, would I want to be with somebody who's got kids, but then marry that person before I've even met the kids and before, the, before even the kids know who I am? That is wild because it's not like she hasn't been to Ecuador. She's been there multiple times. So she's had a chances to meet the children. But fair enough, maybe they realized that they wanted to make their relationship more serious after she left. Cool. But in that timeline, there would have been many opportunities for them to, for, for her to speak to his kids on the phone whether the, and, and, and also see them on a FaceTime. I just think, generally speaking, if you really want to marry someone, you will respect certain things and you will sometimes have to force them to do certain things. Like, for example, in this situation, I feel like she should really push for him to, 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 to allow her to speak to his kids, to get a bond with the kids, if it's possible, before getting married. But instead, Ashley's always thinking about Ashley. Yeah. I don't know, something about it doesn't sit right with me, but that's just me. And while is finally listening to what I need from him, it has been super difficult to get him to even budge an inch. So the fact that we're making these big moves, you know, we got swagger in the mix things, you know, this is big. We're just happy that we got here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Like, I don't know where you started. I don't know where the hell you guys are, at, but it doesn't seem to be a good place. It seems to be still be a place where there's a lack of communication. There's still a place where there's a lot of delay in information that you should know. There's also a lot of doubt within your relationship. Still a lot of arguments. Arguments that come with no solutions. 
Listen, each is of their own. But uh, for someone like Ashley who tries to betray herself as if she's like this intelligent person, she's not. She's a selfish person, foolish person, selfish in the, in the, in the fact that she wanted to marry a man knowing that she didn't even know his kids. Selfish in the fact that she expects her friends to still be there for her, even if she even if she knows and they know that what she's about to do may actually be the, the may not be the best choice. Because it's all about her. I, want, I do wonder if she would be the same for her friends personally. In fact, I do wonder if she had children, would she had would would she have married him without him meeting her kids if she had children? How about that one? I mean, hell, she didn't even tell him that she was a, she was even a witch. <laughs> wow. Well, let me know what you're thinking, and we can talk about it. But end of the day, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to Emmanuel, be, Emmanuel, my apologies, Emmanuel being um emotional i understand it i get it respect it but maybe things would have been a bit more differently maybe he would have broken down necessarily that way if he had been completely transparent with everybody around his family about this whole big move and if he had been then maybe 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 one of them at least could have been there for the big day but no one's going to be there and it's his fault he should be mad at himself let me know what you're thinking down below and we'll talk about it don't forget to like subscribe and of course peace